Welcome back, troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. If you happen to catch one of my guitar hunting episodes, we ran into this very weird Les Paul custom that blended pretty much every single era of Gibson all into one modern thing. So I reached out to the seller, Squealing Pigs Guitars, and despite the guitar actually already being sold, they went ahead and grabbed me some additional photos and some video footage of this thing to share with you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this one. So first off, let's do a recap here. We can clearly see it's a Gibson Les Paul Custom, but it has the Red Widow vibe. That means that the lacquer has been tinted over in a red color. If you want to learn about the Gibson Black Widow, the original one that kind of sparked this whole craze, you can watch this video right here. And not only is that true for the headstock, but you can see right here along the edges of the fretboard, it's also painted red, but you can still see the top of the binding right there. That's the white cream color. And even along the body right here, you can tell that it's also red. But a fancy red finish is not all that this guitar is. Take a look at our pickup configuration on this one. We have a 50 style staple pickup in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. So if you're not familiar with these guys, these were used in the original Les Paul Customs. And those guys look like this. They were introduced in late 1953, but everybody calls them the 1954 Les Paul Custom. But you're gonna notice it was the Alnico 5 staple pickup but they had a regular P90 in the bridge. So the fact that this one even has a staple pickup at all is a huge surprise, but then your bridge pickup is a humbucker, so that just makes it a completely modernized instrument. Then we've got this thing right here, a Floyd Rose on a Les Paul. So we've got the Widow attributes, we've got a 50 style attribute, and now we have something modern called the Les Paul Access. So that helps explain why we have this locking nut up here as well. But a Les Paul access means you're going to have the access heel joint right here, which makes it so effortless to play. I had one of those on the Rhino Les Paul and the tummy cut right there. And you'll also notice that because of these two areas, the back does not have binding. So it's kind of like a Les Paul standard in that aspect as well. And obviously it's been routed out here for the Floyd Rose, so it might be a slightly lighter guitar. I'm sure the wood loss in the back is kind of counteracted with the Floyd Rose system itself. But according to the serial number, this was built as a Les Paul Access Custom and it was built in 2017. You can tell that because it's a six digit serial number and it starts with a seven. If that was only five digits long, that would make it a 2007. And despite being, you know, super modernized, it actually still comes in a Gibson Lipton style case. That's just kind of what the custom shop does. It definitely does not fit this guitar. But one more thing that kind of captures a whole nother era of this guitar are the witch hat knobs right here. That's something that's kind of an early 70s characteristic. So we've got modern 70s, 50s, this is just a complete blending of a bunch of stuff. I mean, you could even say it's got the 2000s. You count the Widow vibe as something different than modern. So let me know down in the comment section how you feel about this all red finish. It appears to be a glossy finish. I don't know, now that I've uh, seen a few more photos of this one, as well as some video documentations of it, it almost just appears too red. I mean, red's not my favorite color to begin with, so maybe if this was like a, an all purple or a green color, I would like it better. Besides that, the only spec some people might not like is it's a rich light fret board because this was born in the rich light era which was approximately 2012 until about 2019 when they switched back over to using the ebony despite this one being a 2017 it was probably made too early for the rhino horn to appear on the les paul accesses i've not actually seen one of these show up in the united states but these appear to be a uk exclusive limited edition run i'm not sure the exact full story because squealing pigs had one but somebody had previously sent me a listing about this guitar at Toman, so maybe it was a limited edition run for them it'd be interesting to know if there were any other colors done besides this red this guitar was originally listed at four thousand six hundred twenty eight dollars and forty five cents but thank you to Squealing Pigs for uh, sending this footage over before they send it on to its new home. It was definitely interesting to see a closer look of this one. Unfortunately, they didn't have time to get me a playing demo though. So let's go ahead and check out a 50s Les Paul Custom with a staple pickup and a modern custom like this one. <laughs>
question left, would you rock this Red Devil guitar or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care. I didn't end up using all the video footage and photos of this guitar, so I'll go ahead and throw these here at the end. So if you're interested in seeing some more guitars, feel free to stick around. Otherwise, this video is over. Thanks for watching.